In today's video, we are making a simple program in Python where the user has to enter a password into the app. If the password is correct, they're told it's correct. If they get it wrong, then they get three attempts until they are completely locked out and the um, program ends. So what we need to do, if we have a look at the example here, is we need to type in ABC123 to get the password correct. If we do that, it simply says password accepted, the program's over. If we were to run that again, and get the password wrong. So I'll just type in anything. It tells us that it's incorrect and we need to try and get this password in again. Still incorrect. Type in another one. Still incorrect. It says you have been denied access and our program's over. Okay, so it's a fairly simple program and it's obviously one that could be expanded on to make something really cool. But I just want to show you the basics of how a password app could work. Okay, so what I'll get you to do is just go to File and New File in Python to start with a blank page here. And the first thing I want to do is start with a password var or a variable called password. And I want you to store the password you want to use for your app today. It doesn't have to be ABC123. That's what I'm using though. So that value is stored inside the password variable. All right. Next thing I'm going to do is we are going to create a for loop. Okay, a for loop is used when you know how many times you want to repeat a piece of code. So in this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be repeating um, our password code three times. So the user's got three attempts to get this correct. If they get it correct before three attempts, then we're just going to jump out of the loop and finish off our um, program. But while that user is not getting the password correct, then we're going to be running this code. Okay, so for i in range and in brackets 3 0 minus 1 now let me explain what this means so we started a for loop the letter i is just a variable that we came up with you could write any word there but it's just good practice with for loops to use the letter i so let's just stick with that and we've got to tell it what range it needs to work within okay so basically how many times we need to run this piece of code so we're going to start at three attempts. Okay, each time the user gets the um, password incorrect, then we're going to take one off of this number here. Okay, and it's going to go all the way down until it gets to zero. Once it hits zero, bang, we're done. That's the end of our app. Alrighty. So that's roughly what those numbers mean in those brackets there. And don't forget, after the brackets, you need to put a colon to show that you are starting your loop or a block of code now. Okay, so this is the code that's going to be run inside of the loop. So the code that we run over and over again three times. So the first thing we want to do is we want to get the user to type in a password, their attempt at getting the password correct. So we write in attempt, which is a variable. So we just came up with the variable name there. Attempt equals input. So we're getting some user input. Enter password put in a colon, close those quotation marks, close your brackets, that's going to get the user to enter in a password. Whatever they type in is going to be stored in the variable attempt. Okay, now we need to check if their attempt matches the password at the top. So let's just do an if statement. Oops. So if attempt equals, remember two equal signs there because we're checking something, if it equals password then we do a colon, and you can see your mouse cursor has been indented again. And what we're going to do, if they've got their password correct, is we're going to break this loop. We're going to jump outside of the loop, and we're going to print that they've got the um, password correct. And that's going to come in a moment. If, though, they get this password wrong, we need to write else, put a colon, and write print, incorrect, try again. Oops, I should have that in quotation marks. And close off the quotation marks, close off the brackets there. And that is our loop. Okay, once we break outside of that loop, we need to do one more if statement. So what I want you to do is just come down to the left-hand side of the page again. So we're no longer in this for loop, We've jumped out of it, and we're going to start another piece of code. We just need to do a check to see if the number of attempts up here have run out. So if i 
equals 1, that means they've used up their last attempt, then we are going to print, you have been denied access, and then we just put in the else, and we're just going to print, password has been accepted. Alrighty, so that is our program. So let's go over that again. So we set a password at the top here, which is ABC123. Okay, no one knows what that is. It's hidden when the app starts. Okay, now once we've got that password set, we're going to run a for loop three times. Okay, and basically the user has to enter in their password or their attempt at the password. If that attempt matches the password we came up with earlier, then we're going to break this loop and we're going to come down and run this bit of code down here, which is outside of our for loop. Okay. Alternatively though, if they get the password wrong, okay, then we're going to print incorrect try again. Okay, and then that loops back around to the start here. Okay, and it takes one off this number. So it becomes our second attempt, and then it drops down to our first attempt, or one attempt left. And then, if they're still getting it wrong, it comes down here. So if the i equals one, we print that they've been denied access. Alternatively, the password has been accepted. Okay, so if we break out of this loop here, and the number of attempts left is not equal to one, then we just print the password's been accepted. A little bit confusing, but hopefully you can break that down. I know I didn't explain that overly well, but hopefully you can break that code down and work out what's going on. So I'm just going to save that. I'll just call it password or something like that. Go to run and run the module. It's going to ask us to enter the password. Let's put in the correct one, ABC123. Bang. It's been accepted. So what that has done, let's see if we can explain this a little bit better. We've entered our password in over here. If the attempt equals the password, which it did, we break out of this for loop and come down to the next section of code. If the number of attempts, so i, that we still got left is equal to 1. In this case, it's not. We've still got three, well, two attempts left. So we skip that part and we go straight down to the else statement and say print password has been accepted. All right, let's run this code one more time. So this time we're going to enter the password, which is this section here. We're going to type it in wrong. So if it's wrong, then we do this bit here. We print incorrect, try again. It's going to loop back around and just run this code again. It's going to ask for us to enter the password again. Type in the wrong one. Now because this is the third attempt, we've used our three attempts up here. Then it's going to break out of this for loop and come down here. Okay, at the moment the i will be equal to 1, which means we just used our last attempt. And since that's the case, it's going to print, you have been denied access. Okay, and that's the end of the program. Alrighty, so that is how you could make a little password app. Hopefully it made a little bit of sense to you there. Um, if not, just try and go over this code, as I said before, and try and de decode it the best you can. Uh, I'll catch you in the next video.